<laughs> hey everyone, I'm Enrique and you're tuned in to Talk of the Town. Today we got a very special guest on the show. We got... B. Jax. Yeah, yeah, wait. <laughs> uh, Mr. Jax, thank you so much. How you doing today? I'm doing good, man. The rain, the rain is raining, but I'm still doing my thing. Mm, as you should, yeah. Now the rain is the rain is not it today. It was uh, it's too hot, too humid. I think it's foreshadowing the type of box I'm about to get in tonight. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, are we thinking the same kind of box? Well, the box would it be? Uh, not a cardboard box. Oh no, nah, not that. <laughs> not that. But trust me, I'm on the move. With it. <laughs> Yo, you're a funny guy, Mr. Jax. All right, so we like to start things off with rapid fire questions. So right. I'll ask you a question and then you just give me a rapid fire answer. Bet. All right, so first one, uh, what's your favorite food? Uh, pussy. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Damn, nah, I wasn't expecting or, that. Or, 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 or sushi. Okay. <laughs> what's, your favorite, what's your favorite song right now? Um, Ski. Okay. What's your uh, what's the last movie you saw? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't really watch TV. No. Okay. So what's the uh, what is one song of yours you wish got more love? Um. Shit, arch your back. Yeah, yeah, that one's this is definitely a sleeper hit, Loki. I was listening to it on the way here. Yeah. And no. Nah. Uh, I should just guess. You got one there, so I'm surprised it's only got like, I think 34k on Spotify. Yeah. They sleep. Nah, for real. Okay, what is a uh, one artist you want to work with that you haven't yet? Like, do they gotta be dumb famous, or is it like somebody I already know? It could be somebody you already know and just haven't had the chance to yet. Uh. Kells. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite thing to do in Jersey? Day parties. Day parties. Cookouts. The block parties. Okay. Yeah, I heard Jersey got like a lot of those. Yeah, that's dumb lit. That's the only thing like that. Because in, in Jersey, the clubs close too early for me. Mm. Like, them shits close at 2 a.m. That's the time I'm getting there. So. Nah, for real. <laughs> it don't make sense. Wow. I didn't even realize that. That's crazy. Yeah. 2 a.m. is dumb early. <laughs> it is. It's for a party to end? Yeah. Like, what the heck? You got like, <laughs> over here in parties, you got DJs that are headlining going on at 2. Exactly. Holy shit. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. It's and too much. <laughs> Last one is, uh, what's one lesson you've learned in the industry so far? Um, I feel like a lot of people, like, I don't know. A lot of these people, they're going to scratch your back, but they're going to want their back scratched too. You mm -hmm. don't got to scratch their back too. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Some yeah. people, if they really fuck with you, then they're not going to expect much back. But if they on some like weird shit, I feel like sometimes people fuck with you expecting something back in the long run. Mm. Even if like they and also I just learned like you can't really trust too many people. Yeah, I, I hear that a lot, too. We've had a few people on who've said a lot of things similar to that. Low key. I feel like that's a, a common theme in the industry, unfortunately, not in like every pocket, but I definitely yeah. see a lot of that. All right. So that concludes rapid fire questions. Now we can now we can get into the shits. So, uh, <laughs> so B Jax, um, <clears throat> you've been making music for a minute, right? Yep. What, uh, when did your musical journey start? Like, what was the inception of B Jax? Uh, in middle school, I wore a remix to Where Is the Love, and I showed it to my math teacher, and he's like, Oh, this shit kind of fine, ain't gonna lie. And I was like, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then in high school, I made a song. High school, I used to really just battle rap. Okay. And I was nice. I mean, I still am. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not nice how I am now, but, like, I was, like, a lunch table rapper, but I was one of them ones at the lunch table. Doing, like, the pen beats and stuff? Nah, I was the rapper. Oh, okay. I, I rap over the pen beats. I just went crazy. So, like, yeah. I made a song once in high school, mm -hmm. and it went, it went dumb in, like, the school and on SoundCloud. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is the camera angle good? I'm my mans. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're good, bro. It happens. Technical difficulties, it'd be like that. But yeah. And then, like, I don't know, it's just something I always wanted. I always like rap. I like music since I was little. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I was always listening to music a lot. Even, like, when you were a little kid, like, I'm really into music. Like, I'm into, like, watching all the music videos, watching, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, interviews and shit. 
like at a youngin, like I'm talking about like second grade, third grade. So I just always like music and I just, you know, I got ADD, so mm-hmm. I can't pay attention in school and I don't pay attention to stuff I don't like. So ain't nothing else I think I could do for real but besides like entertainment, music. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, uh, I was watching your On the Radar interview and that little section where Gabe is like playing your voice notes mm-hmm. and like you're doing all that freestyling, I think that is like really cool, like a really great way to, I don't know if anybody else has ever done it, but it's the first I've seen it. Yeah, I got like 2,000 voice notes, yeah. Damn, that's, that's crazy. Do, you, do your voice notes take up most of the space on your phone? Most likely, yeah. I didn't think about that till now, but. <laughs> is that like. So those voice notes, like, how did you start doing that as a process? Was that, have you always Well, I used to that? record myself on, like, my camera, okay. like, rapping and shit. Because, like, sometimes when you write it, like, because I used to write something tough, but now I forget how I said it. Mm. So I want to memorize the flow, like, how I said it, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Mm, so I used to do the camera shit, but then I realized, well, I didn't even know, like, voice memos a thing. So when I found that, I just started going crazy. Okay. What, um, uh, your, your bars are very punchline heavy. Is that because of your battle rapping background? Yeah, I think it's really because I just grew up listening to a lot of Wheezy, you know, like Lil Wayne. And yeah. I'm just, I'm, I could just do it. Not too many people could do it. I could do it. Mm. And I just, I don't know. I know a lot of random stuff, like pop references. I know a lot about sports. So it's like, it's easy for me to put two and two together. Okay. So, I mean, so you do, freestyling is like how you come up with a lot of your bars, but. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Do you ever, do you ever like write it down? Yeah, first? yeah, no, nah, okay. yeah, I write. Sometimes, like, I really listen to a beat and write, but I just, like, I'll really be freestyling and, and now I write it down. Okay. All right, yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Um, something I've noticed too, listening to a lot of your, your other tracks, because when I first heard Jersey Love, I didn't realize that. It was something that I felt like you'd done a lot, where you got like those moments where you're like, "Ah, shit!" Like you'll fuck up mm-hmm. mid verse, but you'll keep it in, and it still yeah. comes out really hard. <laughs> Hell yeah! So like, what am uh, when did you start doing that? I don't know. I just I, don't know. I fucked up. That shit sounded tough though. Sometimes yeah. like it's real, like you know what I'm saying? It's real. Like mm-hmm. I, it was raw. It just felt too raw to change. Yeah, I feel like it definitely. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like if you would have changed it, it probably would have, like, the energy wouldn't have come off the same. It definitely gives that. Yeah. And then also, it, it's like I fucked up, mm-hmm. but it's more so impressive how I rebounded that shit. Yeah. So that was, like, that's all the same take? Or is it separate takes? I think, I don't know. I can't remember. Okay. I, I ain't gonna lie. I did Jersey Love pretty quick, though. How quick? Like, not dumb quick. But, like, once I listened to the beat, like, I came up with it in, like, less than an hour. Like, I, I did it pretty quick, though. Damn. Uh, can I talk to the mic like this? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, because I was dumb close. <laughs> <laughs> no, the sound's coming out good like that? All right, yeah, we good. Um, that's crazy because it only took you an hour, and Jersey Love has popped off like crazy. Yeah, Shit's up, like, it's about to hit 10 million on Spotify, you know? Yeah, I peeped. What was, uh, what was it like coming up with that? What was the process behind it? Shit, Groovy hit me up, and he was like, his. Pro- I was cool with his producer, too, for a minute, the dude that made the beat. Mm-hmm. And they're like, yo, we got some. Why don't you get on? And I heard it, and I was like, oh, this is, a, like, a good idea. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. Oh. Go speed it up, shit. Then me to come in and just go crazy. Yeah. No, you you really snapped on that song. Thank I you, think, you. Of course, yeah. I really, seeing how the, how I feel like people outside have reacted to it, Mm-hmm. From when it's gone, when it first like really started bubbling up and getting big to how it is now, it's crazy because putting people onto that song, mm-hmm. I think is one of the best parts about it. Yeah, that song is like, I mean, I don't really listen to it that much anymore because I, when I make music, I listen to my songs a lot before I drop them. Once it comes out, I don't really bump them. Oh, really? Because I already heard them too much. Like, I'm not trying to hear it. Okay. Yeah, I feel that. But it's still tough though. Like, yeah. Yeah. So... After Jersey Love, mm-hmm. you dropped Yaya yeah, yeah, Wait, right? Yeah, that shit did good, too. Yeah. Well, what was it like dropping that one? Or like, what was I don't lie. It's funny because I had a hosting at SNS, and, like, you know, I didn't drop my own, like, a, a, a lone song in a while. It yeah. was, like, Arch Your Back, so it was a long gap. So I was like, man, I need to just make a song and shoot a video so I could shoot a video tomorrow. So I made Yaya Wait the night before we shot the video oh, just so I could have a song to shoot a video to. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's not bad for something you put together, Matt Quick. Yeah. 
Okay. And um, after Yaya Wait, you had Sandman. Yeah, say I been had Sandman was like a song we had for a while. Oh just, really? Yeah, just I I feel like Yaya Wait was a better follow up to Jersey Love because you know I don't always make like you know types of like you know Jersey Love vibes type of songs mm -hmm. even though like the flow is really me. But I'm just talking about the beat, so yeah. I wanted to give them like a, a a smoother transition, like something that meets in the in the middle of what I really do a lot of. Got so you. I felt like Yaya Way was perfect for that. Yeah, no, most definitely because Sandman. Oh shit! Excuse me, <laughs> my bad. The Sandman definitely it just goes like full send into the Jersey Club realm. Whereas mm -hmm. like Jersey Love was kind of like R and B Jersey yeah, club mix. That was more so for like the new people, just to get them like more adjusted. Okay, so oh, is that the AC? My bad. <laughs> um, what's it called? Let me get back on track. Uh, so how did Sandman get made? If you don't mind talking about it. Shit, my boy, we was at Off Records or not? Nah, it wasn't even at Off Records. It was, I just remember we played the beat there. Nah, it was, I don't know. He just sent me the beat, bro. And I was like, he's like, bro, I made this beat for you. Like, I'm not sending it to anyone else. I'm oh, like, sure. yeah, this is a B-Jax type of beat. And then I was, I was freestyling. And I was like, if I'm going to dream, it's a wet one. And I was like, oh, that's max. Because, you know, the Sandman, like, not even my friends didn't even know what the Sandman is. Like, oh, shit, that's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like, the Sandman controls the dreams. Yeah, bro. So if I'm going to dream, it's a wet one. <laughs> and I just felt like it was a perfect type of beat. You know, and mm -hmm. the video, that's a song, you know, even that, like, people, like, you asked me before what song people sleep on, people sleeping on Sandman, but that shit, I'm about to get bubbling, like, you know, I was outside these last couple of days, people come up to me about that song a lot. Yeah. It's on 105.1. Oh, shit, nice. Yeah, shout out to Gabe, he do it on there. Fact, shout out to Gabe, we're actually about to have him on soon, so. Oh, yeah, that's my boy, that's like my uncle. Yeah, happy belated to Gabe, too. For real. Yeah. I'm hosting his birthday party, too. Oh, shit, really? Yeah, Damn. me and Chow. Okay. Sunday. No, Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> um, what's it called? Damn, that's kind of crazy that people are sleeping on Sandman, because I feel like... Bro, I mean, maybe that's why it's because it's the Sandman. No, absolutely. It's the sleep. Another dreams. entendre. Yeah. You, you got something for <laughs> you and your, yeah. your punchlines are like, they have double, triple meanings It's all sometimes. over the web, though, like Sandman. You yeah. know, Spider-Man, Sandman, all over the web. Yeah. Internet, no. Did you see, um, have you watched the Sandman TV show? Nah. Oh, that's right. You're not, you're not really into shows, right? Nah, yeah. I just show out. Mm. <laughs> Yo. I like how you flipping, bro. Honestly, very like very quick witted with it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get how you like come up with things so quickly, especially like freestyling. Hell yeah. Damn. Okay. So what? Uh, you talked about Wayne being one of your musical influences growing up. Hell yeah. What? Uh, any other artists? ASAP Rocky. Okay. More so like the swag and everything, the way he carries himself. Mm -hmm. I I ain't gonna lie, like not to sound too cliche, but like you know. Early Eminem, like early Eminem, like not, like I'm talking like when he was on his Slim Shady shit. Mm -hmm. um, I fuck with a lot of like, you know, the 2016 dudes like Uzi, Cardi. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I definitely, that's crazy because I was thinking about Eminem earlier when I was listening to some of your stuff. And I feel like he's another one too who's like got that really like, he's got that rapid fire flow. But he's also talking a lot of shit, and like a lot of crazy yeah, shit too. That like definitely the early Eminem though. Like when he was coming off battle rap, like into yeah, like Marshall Slim, Mathers, Slim, Slim Shady. Shady. That's who I fucked with a lot. Okay. All right. Yeah. What uh? What would you say is your favorite Wayne album, and then your favorite Eminem album? I I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna sound like mad cliche with the Wayne album, but the Carter Three. Yeah. As soon as you said that, I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just like more so timing, cause you know. When that came out, that was I, I just got the uh, iPod, and that was the first album I downloaded. That oh, and the Lamb of God album, the heavy metal band. <laughs> oh, shit. And I ain't gonna lie, bro, I, ain't really, I don't really listen to Eminem heavy. It was just his music videos was always on when I was a little kid, and I thought they was funny. <laughs> like, the shit with, like, the Batman and Robin shit with him and Dr. Dre. And, yeah. Like, that shit. Damn, which one is that? Um, guess who's back. Without bad. me. Uh, thank you. There we yeah. go. Yeah, that was iconic. Yeah, I saw a lot of that growing up, too, like on VH1 See, especially. I fuck with Drake, too. I mean, who doesn't fuck with Drake? Yeah, type? the boy. That's like, that's, that's a given, though. Kanye. Kanye, yeah. Hell yeah. Kanye was the first rapper I listened to, though. 
Yeah. The first music video I ever seen was Jesus Walks when it came out. Wow. Like, I was really a young bull tapping into this shit. Yeah, I think the first full rap project I listened to, like, of my own accord, like, being a little kid and being, like, I want to listen to this, was a graduation mm. on this iPod that I found in a park. It was an iPod Touch, too. Yeah, I was lit. Oh, yeah, I used to listen to a lot of Soldier Boy, too. Oh, man. Did, were, you, were you out here doing the crank that? Yeah. Yeah. I did he, that shit. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Even, like, after, like, you know, he started fucking with, like, because Soldier Boy, mad influential, like, besides the internet shit, just talking about, like, you know, when he was with the Migos, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, shit. Even then, like, even before that, Soldier Boy out here... Yeah, he was really, like, the ringtone era especially, he was yeah. really big. Nah, yeah, I, my ringtone was um, Money to Blow. <laughs> Mine, um, it wasn't Crank That, but it was the one he had after that that blew up. It was the, what, how's it go? It was like, da, 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 yeah, trick, yeah. Oh, yeah, trick, yeah. That's oh, that, that was called. the name of the song. Okay. Yeah, trick, yeah. Yeah, the one yeah. where he had the puppet, right? <laughs> yeah. Get out of my face. Holy shit. Damn, I haven't thought about that in mad long. Wow. Do um, I have to look at one of these cameras? Huh? I look at this one right in oh, the middle. Oh, this one right here. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> um, so before we were on camera, you were out here battle rapping with Cash over the phone. Yeah. Mr. Slizzy himself. <laughs> <laughs> how, did that, uh, how did that come about? <laughs> Matthew Ali, MHBG sound, shit like that. Mm -hmm. And how is that... Like, how has that relationship blossomed over or since then? Oh, that's my brother, man. I love Cash. Yeah? Yeah, like, we be having hella fun outside. All the parties and everything. Mm -hmm. He's a great guy, too. Like, mad wholesome, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love all, like, the whole MHPG sound, Cash, Slizzy, Chowley, and all them, Dollhouse. Mm -hmm. Those are all my brothers. Nice. Yeah, it's got to be some good company to be in, too. Yeah, hell yeah. Motor. Especially, like... With how Sample Drill has taken off. Yeah, and I mean, Cash is like... Cash started that. Yeah, bro. Like, him having such a founding hand in that, too. It's got to be yeah, crazy. the source. <laughs> oh, man. Um, what's it called? So, since then, like... Oh, no. Actually, you look, you kind of answered that question. My fault. So, okay. Let me, let me bring it back a little bit. So, Jersey Club is, like, one of the hottest genres right now. Mm -hmm. But you didn't always make Jersey Club music, right? Nah. No. I always thought about it, though. Shit, I feel like everyone in Jersey thought about it. Yeah. Somebody just had to do it. Like, people was doing it already, though. You know, like, shout out to Unicorn, shout out Chabby and all them. Mm -hmm. They was doing it already. But it was more, like, on... It was still, like... It wasn't really, like... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it was good, but it wasn't really, like, how, like, like rapping with the fast cadences. Yeah. It was kind of just, like, just it the, was, the it beat. Was, Nah, yeah, it was tough though. Mm -hmm. But it's not like how they rap on it. It's not how people rap on it now. Gotcha. But that's still like that's the source though. Still, mm -hmm. like that's the source. They was like the first ones to do that. So like, what kind of um, uh, what kind of beats were you rapping on back then? How would you describe them? Like prior to Jersey I Club taking I off. I rap on all types of beats, yo. To this day, I still rap on all types of beats. It's just that's why producers always took, send me club beats. I'm like, yo, send me other shit. Like, mm. like I got tough songs that wasn't on Jersey Club beats that did good. Like this song I dropped, 2021. I'm him. That shit did good. I was like, what are my pronouns, bitch? I'm him. And people stole that bar too. A couple people did. Really? Yeah. Oh shit. Sure. Cause I said it in this TikTok thing that went up. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't know if they stole it, but the timing of it was mad wacky. Yeah. But, like, yeah. But I'm him. That was on, like, a my boy Mod made that beat. You know, he, he did a lot of things with Nudie. So, it was more like, it was like an Atlanta trap type of beat. Yeah. Like, on some turn shit, though, too. Like, kind of like how, like, not, like, really opium, but, like, like in the four, in the middle, you know? Like, yeah. you know how Nudie beats be. They be on some, like, some turn. I like beats like that a lot, you know? Mm-hmm. One thing I really could do, like one type of beat, I'd be smoking all the time. I just never put out a song with it. I'd be killing those Detroit beats. Yo, that's fucking crazy because I feel like your flow, even though it's, I haven't heard you on a Detroit beat, it sounds like it I'm would be. I'm body them shits. Cause like, yeah, bro, on some way, Babytron shit. The way that, yeah, that's somebody everyone really wants me to work with, like the, the supporters. I feel like that'd be tough. Yeah. But like. Just the way Detroit beats are, it's, it's so much easier for you to get off the bars. Yeah. Like, a lot of times when I'm rapping, I have to sacrifice a bar for the sake of the flow. Mm -hmm. But on Detroit beats, you don't got to, like, 
you know, the cadences is spaced out. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you can really get off a lot of bars. Like, that's Rio and them. They really be popping their shit. I like the Detroit rap shit. Yeah, bro. I wasn't, I'm not going to act like I was the most tuned in, but a friend of mine has been putting me on gradually. Yeah. And he showed me some Babytron shit. He showed me some... Uh, I think it's BF the Pac-Man. Yeah, BF the Pac-Man. There we go. He's got some crazy shit. His bars go it's, off wild. Yeah. And I like how like it's it's punchline heavy and it's comedic. It's comedic. But That's they're still why saying mad shit. I could really like I like people want to see me on Detroit beats. I be cooking the Detroit beats. Yeah. Me and RX Poppy got a song on Detroit beat. Oh word. Type of shit. Yeah. Okay. That shit is fire. Oh shit. But nah, yeah. I fuck with them. I really could rap on like. Plug beat, like even plug shit, like you know, plug beats, like you know, like yeah, I could do those, I could do anything. God damn, really versatile. Hell yeah, put me on a boom bap beat, it's over because that's really you could really get your lyrics off. Yeah, bro, on some like, especially I feel like when the beat is like the most simplistic but the most effective, that's when like yeah. the bars are like matter most because like the club shit, bro, them beats is mad fast. It ain't a problem for me though, but mm -hmm. you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. yeah, bro, you've been rapping mad fast for for a minute, right? It's just my cadence, it's, it's how I am, like it's really just me and to rap form. It's mm -hmm. how my brain be moving mad quick. Yeah, so like those club beats are kind of like it perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, no, I'm glad you said it because I wanted to say it, but Shit, I was yeah. like, I don't want to say perfect, and then you, you know, said perfect. I'm, up here, I'm talking to Tom. I even gotta get the credits where it's due, man. Shout out to Bandman MC for breaking the sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if we've had Bandman on yet, but definitely something, definitely something I want to do because I feel like he's definitely contributed to Jersey Club being nah, he all broke the world. He broke the sound. Yeah, low key, one of the first Jersey Club songs I heard that really popped. Definitely Jiggy and Jersey. For real? Yeah. Cause I'm not like I wasn't the most tapped in with Jersey Club. Like mm -hmm. I knew of the sound, but when I was listening to it, it was just like people doing remixes of songs with Jersey Club like beats in the song. Yeah. Not like that song is tough. Yeah, I think they just aren't they dropping like a, a collab project? I think. Yeah. Oh, tonight. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! I'm definitely gonna tune into that. Oh right, yeah, shout out to Batman MC. Have you worked with Batman before? Not yet, but that's my boy. We definitely gonna get some man. Yeah. Me uh, and MC though got some shits in the tuck. Oh, word. Wild shit. Oh, shit. Life changing shit. Now, real talk, honestly, I didn't realize that his producer name was pronounced MC Vert. So I thought it was Mick Vert. Mad long, I was saying Mick Vert, bro. <laughs> I, felt, I felt really bad. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, Jersey, though, I feel like the mark on the world, the mark on the world that they're having now mm -hmm. is yeah. it's crazy. You know what's crazy, though? It's always been there. Like, we always had Jersey Club going. People just didn't realize. Like, like that whole. DJ Telly Tells, level up, level up. Sierra remixed it. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Don't ask him. Oh, you, shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. No, no, no. It's the other way around. I mean, DJ Telly Tells shit was fuck it up. Fuck it up. Don't ask in a circle. And then Sierra remixed it. She was like, level Mid up. Level up, Level yeah. up. And even like, oh, yeah, Cookie Kawhi too. She had, oh, yeah. I forgot when you Cookie Kawhi. Oh, yeah. Yeah, shout out to Cookie Kawhi too. She, she be showing love. I fuck with her too. Yeah, she, she, she's, she's, really she's somebody that broke the sound OD. She got Tiger on a Jersey Club beat. Oh, sure. On the back it up, she hopped on that. Wow. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, um, now nah, what's it called? With, with Jersey Club being all over the world and making, like, this worldwide break, mm -hmm. um, do you see yourself, like, continuing to make more Jersey Club beats? Like Hell, yeah. I, I want to show people my other stuff, though, too, for real. Okay. But Jersey Club's not going to die out, bro, because Jersey Club's been lit since I was a little kid. Yeah. It's just, like, now it's, it's just evolving. You know what I'm saying? Like Drake got on a Jersey Club beat. Like what? Yeah, that's like Nicki crazy. Minaj. Like that that Barbie song. Those were Jersey Club patterns. Mm -hmm. So the Jersey Club shit is not gonna die out because it's been around since I was a little kid. Like we was youngins. Yeah. Like DJ Little Man, all them shits was getting hella views on YouTube. It's just now it's like the whole world is hit. Yeah, I think it's that... just gonna keep evolving. Yeah, most definitely. Like even like like look at like the sweepers like. That's they literally made their own sub genre of Jersey Club, like those type of beats. Yeah, that shit so is different keep, too. Keep evolving. Yeah, because it's like I, even the, I think the same shit with drill music, bro. Like everyone keeps saying drill music about to die out. That's cap because drill music's been around since Sosa and them. Mm -hmm. It's just gonna keep evolving. Yeah, like like you see how we they they did like the the UK type of beats and then Cash came in with a sample drill mm -hmm. and now it's the Jersey Club drill yeah. and tomorrow it's going to be something different. It's just going to keep evolving. 
Yeah, I feel like Drill and Jersey Club, like both, they're gonna. It's a good mix. Yeah. And then on top of that, where they've come from their respective regions, I feel like it's just going to travel from one to the next, and they're going to continue to put their own spin on it. I fuck with it, though, too, because, like, like, yeah, we close to New York, but we still it's still different, but it's, like, a good connection. Yeah. That's one thing about me. Like, I'm from Jersey, but I fuck with a lot of people in New York, you know? Like, I, I fuck with a lot of New York artists. Like, you know, obviously, I'm, you know, Cash and Chow. Mm -hmm. I fuck with, like, Tata. I fuck with a lot of these New York artists that are really putting on. Yeah. So I really like to, you know, I like to bridge the gap between Jersey and New York. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, like, I see other, like, Band Man did it. You know, I feel like another collab, too, that, like, a lot of people, like, it was hot. But, like, that needs more recognition. Like, even the Flea and the Sosa Geek track, that mm -hmm. was, like, a good, like, bridging the gap type of thing. Nah, for real. Yeah. Because, you know, because, like, yeah, I just want... It's, like, we right, we right next to each other. <laughs> yeah, bro. You'd think that, like, considering, like, our histories with each other and how close we all are, or we both are, rather, as states, like, there'd be more camaraderie and more, like, collaboration. Yeah, like, especially, like, North Jersey. I feel like, like, North Jersey, that's really the source. Like, Exus County, you know, like, the 973. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the source. It's close to New York. Yeah. Where, where exactly is Essex? Like, shit, that's, like, the Oranges, Nork, Irvington. Gotcha. You got a lot of goats. Shit, West Orange, my town. You mm -hmm. got Kyrie Irving. You got B-Jax. <laughs> East, ain't, ain't Whitney, Whitney Houston from East Orange, right? Sure. Where Lauren Hill from? Nah, Scissors from Maplewood. Scissors from Maplewood. God damn. So that's right next to us. Lauren Hill, she either from East Orange or Newark. Queen Latifah from Newark. Shaq from Newark. Oh, shit. Michael B. Jordan from Newark. Redman from Newark. Oh, shit. Damn, I, I didn't know all that. We got, yo, we got heavy hitters, yo. Yeah, holy I shit. I don't lie. Like, Jersey in general, <laughs> like, fuck that, bro. Like, Jersey got the heavy hitters in music since back in the day. Like, Frank Sinatra. And Big then, facts. Cool in the Gang, Jersey City. You know, Cool in the Gang had shit on Smash back then. Wow. Yeah, and then, can't forget the boss. The boss. Bruce Springsteen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bon Jovi. Yeah. yeah. Naughty by Nature. Yeah. Oh, sh wait, really? What? I they're thought they were from, from Queens. They're from Jersey? Hell no. They from East Orange. Sheesh. Naughty by nature from East Orange. I did not know that. Holy shit. Hell yeah. Learn something new every day. Obviously, Lauren Hill, Wyclef, John Autumn. Mm-hmm. Wow. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. Even Eminem, he used to really fuck with a group called The Outsiders before he really got lit. And they really like helped put him on. Outsiders, a group from Newark. They was fucking with Lauren Hill a lot. You know, um... Rod Digger was in The Outsiders. Really? Who's that? Yeah, oh, shit. The one that rapped with Busta Rhymes a lot. Damn, now nah, I'm blinking. Oh. Damn. Oh, man. Yikes. This is embarrassing. Nah, you good. You good. <laughs> Holy shit, nah. I gotta do my research, though. Nah, yeah, Jersey. Jersey got history with this music shit. Damn. So I fuck with, like, you know... I'm just happy, like, our sound is everywhere now. Yeah. It's gotta be great to see We're it go We're not getting our credit yet, but, you know, we... We yeah. Gonna. yeah, I think that especially when you guys got somebody like like when Bad Bunny did uh, his Jersey Club shit. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, that was nuts. I honestly was the last thing I ever would have expected to happen. But I think that just goes to show how powerful the sound really is. Yeah, man. Like I said, shout out to MC, man. Because that Just Wanna Rock really set it off. Absolutely. That shit was going crazy. Especially alongside, the, the Eagles were going to the Super Bowl alongside that track popping off, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uzi, Uzi that, was, that helped a lot, too. Oh, yeah, obviously, shout out to Philly, too. Like, yeah. you know, they, 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 could trip, they did a lot on TikTok and stuff. <laughs> yeah, like Philly Goats and them. And just, like, yeah. Philly in general, too, like, with the hip shit. Yeah. yeah they've definitely been helping they did help the shit pop off. Yeah. The Jersey Club, though. Yeah. <laughs> Not Philly Club. <laughs> nah, like, nah, I feel like we're all on the same team, though, you know? Mm-hmm. Why is that? Up. Huh? Why is that? Why? Because, like, I don't know, like, it's still club music. Because anything, Jersey Club, we got that from Baltimore. Okay. But we give Baltimore their credit, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm So they really the source. Oh, shit. Damn. We made, we changed it up a little, but they the source. Damn, I really gotta, I like that. Thank you for being this, like, the source of knowledge, because I was not aware of a yeah. decent amount of that. Like, Growing up, like even Florida had club shit growing up. It was really Jersey versus Florida when I was growing up, or Jersey sure. versus Baltimore. And now it's like Jersey versus Philly. Hmm. But ain't no versus with me. 
I'm I'm shit. I'm collaboration over competition. There's too much money out here. Facts. There's seats for everybody at the table. For real. Yeah, I like that. I feel like a lot of uh, a lot of industry shit, like music, entertainment. It's yeah, always bro. Like everybody mad gatekeeping can eat shit. in this shit, bro. Exactly. That's why you gotta just focus on your, yourself. Mm-hmm. Don't focus on what everyone else is doing. Everybody got a different path, different career. Yeah, some man. people blow up overnight. Some people take like ten years. Yeah, bro. Like I seen this this clip going around of uh, JPEG Mafia, and mm-hmm. he's talking to someone, and he's like, he was doing this shit for fifteen years, only getting fifty likes, and then now look at him. Nah, yeah, mm-hmm. like he's Suvi now. Yeah, bro. Shit is crazy. Um, so I want to play another game. I bet. This one's called Finish the Lyric. I. But it's your lyrics, so oh. I'm sure you should be able to finish them. <laughs> I bet. All right, so. Here's one. Uh, yeah, let me start with this one. Since I was a youngin, B-Jax wasn't normal. Nah, what? <laughs> nah, I, I, don't, I can't sing it in the cadence because then he's going to know. Yeah. Is this from Joe Shiesty? It is from Joe Shiesty. Damn, what But the, you still got to finish the, the lyric. <laughs> I could have, I could have, I mean. I Thank you. Since yeah, I, I did the show with Jay Easy. He had a hard time too, but it wasn't his songs. So. Oh, Jay Easy, that's yeah. my boy. Oh, word, that's my boy too, bro. And we made TikToks together. I word, fuck with him. yeah, because yeah. they be in the comments like, "Yo, you, sound, you and Jay Easy sound yeah. like." Yo, do you guys like? Yeah, we made a worked? song last year, but it didn't come out, bro. We'll make another one though. Some Bjax and Jay Easy shit will go crazy. Yeah, uh, Bjax, Tommy Yoko remix. You not be on TikTok heavy, so. It's just I was a young and Bjax wasn't normal. I don't know. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Since I was a young and B-Jax wasn't normal, I got all this chicken to feel like the colonel. Yeah. Oh, man. That, now, far, that far was like a lyric. That was, I didn't remember that because that was a, a nursery rhyme, a filler bar. Yeah, okay. But that was good, though, to pick that because you stumped me. Yeah, I wasn't trying to. I felt like if I picked the hook, it'd be a little too easy, you know? Nah, but yeah, Joe Scheist, damn. That shit is I, hard, too. I forgot about that song. Yeah, that song goes crazy. All right, here's one. I walk in the spot, my dolo. Oh, bad bitch with me, she's jumping like polo. Yeah, yeah. a little yeah. easy one. That's Jersey a light love. one. Yeah, that was his freestyle and shit. Oh, word. Yeah, freestyle Jersey love. Oh shit, like the whole thing. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, I only thought like part of it was freestyle. Oh shit, that's crazy. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one. Um, she calls me Pepper Jacks. How much provolone? <laughs> yeah. Yo. Matthew McCullough your shawty, we home alone. I'm in the back of the Benz getting Superdome because Mercedes Benz, Superdome. I'm in the back of the Benz getting Superdome. Yeah. So really be <laughs> nah, I didn't expect you to break out the whole thing like that. Nah, because I mean, shit. I'm him is one of your bigger songs. So like, I like, I figured. That's, that's my biggest song before the club shit. Damn. Nah, it's not. Magic Johnson is. I was going to pick something from Magic Johnson, but I was like, nah, I'd be too easy. I'd that part went easy. off, though. When I said I don't have AIDS, but I got Magic Johnson, <laughs> that was the first time I had a viral moment. But it was just a moment, though. Yeah. It went away. No, nah, definitely. It's got, like, it's got that like little bit of shock value to it. Because it's like, oh, shit. What did he just yeah, say? Gangsta, Like Jamie Foxx. Yeah. Spider-Man. <laughs> um, I did that one. I did that one. Okay. I'm going to go get a step on. Fucking a bitch, I'm fucking a stepmom. Yeah. Yeah. That was just Same that man. was like just another thing. I didn't know what else to say. Oh really? Yeah. Damn. I mean, I think it was a pretty good bar. It was. Yeah, it was a filler one though, right? It wasn't. Yeah, filler, filler. Okay. So I got that one, got that one, got that one. Okay, last one. Okay. I got young gunners pushing that P. Wait. Please do not pull out the Drake. If you pull out the Drake, then I'm pushing the T. Yeah. <laughs> and that's from Jackson Order. That's a tough bar. Yeah. Honestly, it, d- it took me a second because I was going to use that one, but then I was going to use, um, I think it was the one after where you're talking about um, how you step in Bape, feel like Pharrell, push and I really pee. step in, a, yeah, I really step in, a, yeah, I'm a, you know I'm, I'm on go with the double entages. Yeah, bro. I really step in, babe, I feel like Pharrell, how I push that P. Yeah, like, I feel like it's almost reflective of, like, you know, you having all this knowledge from all these random parts because, like, if somebody else doesn't have that, like, yeah, trying to like, dissect it is going to be tough. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the one thing though that be blowing my shit about my music, man. My shit be going people's overheads too much. It's hard not to do it. Like my on the radar freestyle. Mm -hmm. Like I'll see them pick a bar out. Like oh that was tough. I'm like that was that was some light (laughs) shit. You didn't hear me say what I like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But shit. I feel like the real. I'm trying to make it more simpler, but nah, Mm -hmm. fuck that. 
No, I mean, me simple. people like what you do and you doing what you do is a, well, a big reason why people like you. So it only makes sense to keep doing it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Have, uh, yeah. <laughs> that yaya stuff. <laughs> what did you like, how did you come up with that? Just doing yaya or like, how did that become your thing? I ain't gonna lie. I said that shit 20 for a minute. Really? Yeah. Cause you know, you know, people out here, they might, it's a common word. So, like, you know, you'll hear people say it in the songs a lot. Mm-hmm. But I've been saying that shit since I was in, like, middle school for real. Because my homie down the street, we used to just say that shit. And plus, he, you know, grandma, you call grandma yaya sometimes. You, really? You, ne- you, know, you never be like, no. Nah. Sometimes people call their grandmas, like, you know, they yaya. Oh, shit. No, I wasn't aware of that. I don't know. I didn't know either, but... I don't know if it was that or that was just her name. But, you know, it was just fun to say. So in 2016, the first time I ever rapped, that was just, I didn't know what to say. So I just like, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. And then people started saying it back to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're a character, bro, honestly. Thank you, man. I really fuck with your music and I feel like you just give off good vibes too, you know? Hell yeah. No, I'll be chilling, bro. I'll be chilling. Nah, for real. You're like, and you're on the radar freestyle. <laughs> it was Max. Yeah, bro. And I was over here like, I'm like, damn. Like, I did two beats, too. I ran through them shits. Yeah, you know, you were going hard on it. I'd really like to see you on some Detroit shit. Yeah, man. It, it's it's going to go. And, um, uh, oh, okay, that was the last one. <laughs> so, what should we expect next from BJAX coming up in the rest of the year? Hmm. <laughs> I'm about to I'm about to drop a couple crazy singles. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, the collabs in the works is max. Yeah. It's people you wouldn't even think. Oh shit. Okay. Cause one thing about me, man, I don't I fuck with every I fuck with all different types of rappers and music. So mm-hmm. I don't just stay to one lane, you know? Yeah. And you know, I'm gonna drop a project. I never dropped a project. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that too. Like you're I gonna drop dropped. one this year? I have to. Yeah. I never dropped one. That it's like at the same time it's like damn I haven't dropped a project but I'm like damn I did all this without a project not yeah, even an EP yeah bro it's just like just straight singles which yeah. honestly is like a testament to your work too and your work ethic because like there are people who could have just been doing that shit and then just like giving up but shit fuck that was I don't even have a lot of songs out in general I gotta give them a project yeah bro some some 2023 Bjack shit a project yeah, yeah crazy bro. take them to Bjack's university bro that should be crazy yeah. Yeah, you and you and Jay Easy both have that alike, and we're in common rather, where you guys have like mad singles, mm-hmm. but like no project. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a collab project. No, nah. I'm <laughs> this is a tough. This is, I've been collabing with a lot of tough people though. Word. Is, are there any that you can tell us, or is that? Sh- or is that? Nah, nah, fuck nah. that. I'll tell you all. Wait, Fed, <laughs> should I tell them the collabs? Yes. Yeah, all right, boom. <laughs> So obviously, my boy Spliff Happy, we okay. got hella songs. Oh shit! Me and Hurry Haran got a couple bangers too. Oh shit! Okay. Me and Seti Hendrix got a banger. Oh shit! Obviously, me Cash and Chow got some shits in the vault. Me okay. and RX Poppy got a couple bangers in the vault. Damn. <laughs> and there's a lot of other artists y'all like too that I'm about to work with. Oh shit! I can't I can't say who it is nah, though yet. Don't yeah. worry, you good, bro. But those are the shits in my phone that's be bump. Who who I'm missing? Oh, oh yeah, I just dropped a song with my boy G Pluto too. Oh word. From uh, you know you know D Rose and them Feezy. Yeah. G Pluto as yeah. Oh shit. Jersey. That, 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 when did that? When did that drop? And he dropped it on his project. Yeah, word? but we about to drop the video though. Got you. Okay, I'm definitely going to check yeah. that out then. I didn't even peep. Is there anybody else? I feel like there is. Nah, yeah, but. The shits me and Hurry Haran got, though, them shits is max. Word? That's going to be crazy. With, I told you, like, I really fuck with Hurry Haran. I really fuck with Kells a lot. Them East New Yorkers be singing. Their melodies are different, bro. For real. Absolutely. It's crazy because, like, you would never think. But, oh, shit, excuse me. The melodies coming out of, oh, excuse me, coming out of Canarsie, East New York, that whole area. They're going crazy. And then Absolutely. Josiah shooting the videos, he's max. Josiah Powers. Yeah, bro. He's tough. Holy shit. Very boy. exciting, bro. Very, very exciting. Damn, I'm very much looking forward to that. And especially, like, the projects that hopefully comes out this year. Nah, it's coming out. A oh, word? Yeah. Word? Okay, there we go. Confirmation. Damn. Not I, combination. I just gave him the whole a lot with the vault, though. It's, it's cool. Who gives a shit? <laughs> You'll make more music. Nah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't say the, the... Yeah, we sued me. All right, no doubt. Well, 
Mr. Jax, B Jax. Yeah. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it. It's been a great time. Hi. Why don't you? Thank you. Of course. For thanking me. And thank you for thanking you for thanking me. You're welcome. <laughs> Why don't you uh, tell the people where they could find you? I mean, there's a couple places you can find me. <laughs> well, Online. Wherever the doopties at, no, I'll be right there. You can find me where the doopties is at. Um, nah, BJax on Instagram, B J A C K S. Real BJax on Twitter, cause some some pussy got BJax taken. Damn. I mean, I don't know if he's pussy though. I didn't mean that. <laughs> He'll fuck around. Be I don't know. It could be hard but as fuck. Damn, bro. Like, let me get let me get that, cause <laughs> yo, I really did some detective shit to get BJax on Instagram. Oh, word. Yeah, some Bruce Wayne shit. I'm like, nah, I need this. Real BJax is too ass. <laughs> Cause like it ain't no fake ones, so I went to their page. I saw they ain't posting years, so I I, <laughs> I I went through the tags and the likes. I'm like, oh, this person's active. Let me DM them. Yo, let me get your homies at name B Jax. They hit me back. They're like, oh, hey, smooth, hey, amen, smooth. Damn. And TikTok B Jax dot one. You know, obviously be on TikTok a lot. Shout out to TikTok for blowing up Jersey Love. Yeah. And yeah, I wait kind of too. Mm-hmm. Kind of too, yeah. Yeah, and and YouTube BJ a dollar sign for us. Yeah, but if you look up, it's still gonna come up. Yeah, there there's no other BJacks without the S as a dollar sign. For so. real, nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, thank you so much, Mr. Jax. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you all for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.